Good afternoon. I'm John Dunn with Main Street Amherst, and I'd like to talk about a little bit about what we have coming up. Uh, on April 5th, we have our basket bingo. And if you're a bingo player, you better hurry up and get a ticket because they're almost sold out. We have 25 or so t tickets left. So don't hurry, don't wait, just go and do it. Um, and also we, on uh, May 16th is Pride Day where we all come together downtown and clean up the downtown area and other areas of the city. Uh, so if you want to join in or if you have a group that wants to help out, Come on down to the Main Street building at about 9 o'clock on the 16th, and uh, you can help clean up our city, make it look beautiful. Okay, thank you. But today we're here with the Amherst Historical Society, and we have their president, Sandy Kaiser. Actually, executive director. Executive Director, your title I has got changed. Promoted, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. All so. right. That's a great promotion for it you. It is. It is. It's, it pays the same, but you know. Yeah, well, it's the title <laughs> that's impressive. That's all. Yes. So, so tell us a little bit about what you have coming up with the Historical Society. Well, uh, next Saturday, March twenty-first, we have a wine tasting, wine and beer tasting, going on downstairs at the Cornerstone Church. It's just downstairs from our office. It's on the corner of Milan Avenue and South Lake Street. It's being put on by Giuseppe's, and they do an excellent job. I've, I've done this before with them, and it's a really fun evening. So it's only $15. You get six sampling tickets. Uh, we will have all kinds of appetizers available for you to enjoy, hopefully some entertainment. We need to work on that a little bit. Um, but we're just looking for a fun evening. We like to do things that are not only fundraising, but fun raising. So uh, we do a, a variety of fundraising, historical things, and this just happens to be for fun. We do have something pretty special for historians. We have um, mountain man Jim Bridger, who will be coming and presenting uh, a little bit about what it was to be a mountain man and how that relates to the movie The Revenant, which was uh, very historic movie that's just uh, recently, I think it's still out um, in the theaters. But he was a fur trapper and an Indian fighter, and he's going to be portrayed by John Burke. Anybody who came to see Captain Wolf last year will recognize that name because it's the same presenter, but he's going to be Mountain Man Jim Bridger this time. That's May 5th at 7 p.m., and again, it's downstairs from our office on the corner of Milan Avenue and South Lake Street. Yeah, so, I went to the one last year too. That was very, very good. So if you like history and that stuff, you better go there. Yeah, that this is good. great for students. We had students from the high school come for Captain Wolf, and they were uh, doing a report mm -hmm. on his presentation, and, and he was very good. He's very uh, good with the children. He interacts with the audience and, and encourages questions. So that's a free event. That's one of our community nights. We're doing those three to four times a Eight Presidents' Wives. I think that's September 23rd or 25th. I'd have to look that up, but that'll be down at Central School. So we will do that in the afternoon. It'll be a luncheon, and the eight Ohio Presidents' Wives will entertain us. And that will also be, it's a donation for them. So it's a, another community night. And then we always hear about the Jamboree, and people wish the Jamboree would come back. <laughs> well, we've put it together on a smaller basis. Last year we did the Village Fair over in the Sandstone Village. Um, we tried to have a variety of music and entertainment for the kids, and it was our first uh, adventure into that, but we had a, a huge success. It was wonderful. So we're bringing that back. We'll have pony rides and a petting zoo, kids' corner, balloon fun, raffles and games, a hot dog eating contest, court hole. We have a model A tour. They're going to do a parade and um, then come and stay at the village so people can see their cars. And uh, we will have a poker run on, on Sunday, I think Sunday, no, Saturday's poker run, Sunday's the car show. Um, and I just found out that we're going to have Johnny Appleseed visit us at our village fair this year. So if you want to hear about Johnny Appleseed and his history, uh, that will be portrayed by Ken Hammontree, who did Eisenhower Force at our president's party this year. Uh, Ray reviews with him, he's excellent, he's a history teacher and he found that he could relate to his students better by going into the first person and actually making history interesting. So if, uh, if you like history, if you like to have fun, if you like to pet animals or eat corn hot dogs or 
or play cornhole, we're the place for you. And that's going to be on July 11th and 12th. There'll be no entry fee, so it'll be a free event. We're looking for crafters. We're looking for different vendors. Um, so just call us at the Historical Society. It's 988-7255. And again, my name is Sandy. I'm in here most of the time. Uh, we will be 9 to 4, our business hours. Basically, we're closed on Wednesday, but I still come in. So always available for you. So hope to hear from you soon. Uh, and uh, if you have ideas for us, things that you would like to see us do or present, we are open to ideas. So very happy to be a member of Main Street. And uh, I've known this young man for quite a while. We're so <laughs> happy to have you. But so. the one thing with the Historical Society and Main Street Amherst is none of these things happen without people. And we need volunteers. So Definitely. if you feel like you want to be involved and you really want to get into history or some other ideas that you may have you'd like to see us do, come get involved with the Amherst Historical Society and also Main Street Amherst. So thank you today, Sandy. That was appreciated. That's that's some. Here's, these are pretty good. I've, I've been to I just about all of them, and they've all been really good. So if you got time, come on down to and. Visit them. I don't remember the dates or not, but they'll be okay. on the website, right? Or they're on the website. They're on our Facebook okay. page. And if you have questions, just call the office, and we'll be happy to to answer those questions for you. And we feed you at all these events. So and the phone number for the office four four zero nine eight eight seven two five five. I don't remember because it's in my phone, so I just hit it and it yeah. comes up. So yeah, it's like trying to remember your own phone number. Sometimes that's yeah, difficult. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, we thank you today for watching us. And again, Sandy, I thank you for being on our little show here. Okay, well, you're most welcome. Thank you.